Hi, everybody. I'm Marty Caswell from the Darren Smith Show on Double X 1090, and there's pretty much one way to say it. The San Diego Chargers were absolutely manhandled by the Atlanta Falcons, 27 to 3. Offensively, defensively, special teams, perhaps coaching, they were outplayed, manhandled. It was, the game wasn't even close. The good news early on was the return of, of Ryan Matthews and Antonio Gates. Ryan Matthews, though, had a very costly fumble that seemed to go ahead and change the momentum of the game uh, inside the Falcons' three. Afterwards, you spoke about the fumble. You know, the defender gets paid just like I do, and, uh, you know, I was going down trying to get the extra yard, and, you know, the ball came in front of me, and uh, he put his helmet on it, and the ball came out, and, uh, you know, just stuff like that happens, and I just got to be more aware of uh you know, instead of trying to get that extra yard, you know, just, uh, just go down. I don't know how excited you were to get out here, but how discouraging is a loss like this when you guys are beaten pretty much in all three phases? I mean, they're a good team. They really are. There's a, there's a reason why they're 3-0 now. And, uh, you know, we just got to come back next week and, uh, you know, start all over. You know, starting with Monday and watching film and uh, just getting in there and, and uh, you know, really just doing our part. You know, that's what we need to do and I uh, think we'll be good. Last week against the Titans, the Chargers defense, they, they had their way with them. They held them to one and nine on third down conversions. Today, completely different story. Couldn't contain Matt Ryan or Julio Jones or Tony Gonzalez or Roddy White, and they converted on third down eight of 13. After the game, Jared Johnson spoke about whether or not this type of lopsided loss was a wake-up call for the entire team. Everybody in the league is going to go through adversity. You know, this is our first big adversity. And, you know, this game is, you know, the NFL is a man's game. So, and, you know, it's all about how you respond to adversity, you know. And, and this is a tough one for us. You know, we got beat pretty handily today. So everything depends on how you respond to it. You know, are you going to come back next week and, and, and get better, learn from your mistakes and improve next week? Or are you going to, you know, sit back and, you know, say, oh, I guess we're not that good and just settle down, you know. It all depends on how you respond to adversity. How do you expect the team to respond, your teammates to respond? From what I know about these guys, they're going to come out and bust ass and go to work next week and get after whoever we're playing next week. And this is the first time under the Norv Turner era the Chargers did not score a single touchdown. Some very key drop passes by both Antonio Gates and Malcolm Floyd. After the game, Antonio Gates spoke about the offense being out of sync. Uh, we just wasn't ourselves today. Um, had way too many turnovers, drop passes. Uh, I think one thing about this league I noticed is that uh, when trying to make corrections, you have to critique yourself and start with yourself and, be, and start from the individual and out. And uh, I just got to do some things better to help us win football games. Is this a reality, a reality, a wake-up check for the guys in this team, for the, for the team as a whole? Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, uh, we knew this team was good. And uh, coming in here, we knew this was going to be our biggest test, you know, so far. And uh, they just outplayed us today. You have to give them credit. They was, they was just a better team today. My favorite go-to guy after every Chargers game, win or loss, is usually Takeo Spikes. He's been through it all. He has now started 202 career games. And after tonight, today's game, he spoke about why it's too soon to panic and why the Chargers can fix their problems. We're thankful that it happened early. And, 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 and with that being said, by it happening early, uh, no division is won or lost this early. Uh, playoff run isn't over or won this early. You know, it's, 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 you know what I've said? One of the, you know, the realest things I ever heard was that it's, it's truly a journey. And, and, and what dictates what happens in the end is how do you learn, how do you build week after week, whether or not if it's a win or a loss, because when you win, you still don't do perfect things. And we understand that. And we got a great core of guys that, that reiterates that amongst each other. So we'll be okay. Not because you say you're supposed to be okay. We'll be okay because we have another, enough guys around who, who gives a shit, who really want it to be okay. We will make it okay. That's it, Charger fans. I'll see you tomorrow on the Darren Smith Show from 2 to 5 on Double X 1090. I'll talk to you later.